and what they type keep of business pushing is and it? Pushing and pushing, and I'm just fed up with just something else. I mean, you guys are crazy. Okay, this is uh, Mr. Jim Miller. Hi. Oh, hello. So, do you want to franchise this? Well, what I know about San Bernardino is, it's it's a dying city. It's okay. been trying to die since. Uh, the Air Force Base closed. Yeah. yeah. San Bernardino County is the highest welfare county in the state. So those who have money to spend it. Well, they will also sell their food stamps to buy a hooker. I mean, no, I'm serious, yeah. no fin. One thing you want to consider is that from about one block east of here, that's east, over about a mile is what the police department calls Project Phoenix. Okay. The goal and dedication and commitment is to take every drug peddler and every prostitute out. Okay. Yeah, but how, Project Phoenix went to hell. It did, yeah. Uh, it, it's not existing anymore. Um, they yeah. only use it now to justify the funds that, mm. that, that the police were given. Because and you actually involved with that? Yeah. So the marketing plan <laughs> is, is both the problem and the solution. There isn't enough volume in that kind of a community that you could afford. So you would be competing with all of the black ladies who just briefly walk up and down the streets. Mm -hmm. And they're in the 20 to $40 bracket. And she charges 100. There you go. So you got the right thing in the wrong place. Riverside Corona would be a good place for you. Here you're looking at 75% poverty. Poverty level in Riverside is much, much lower. If you're gonna get the business, you've gotta be out on the street or do it, do it through prospecting. But, but if, the girls, if the girls have a 300 word English vocabulary, yeah. then you've gotta match them up to the market. Right? A lot of people that I run into, they don't care whether the girls speak English or not. That's right. Yeah, it's utilitarian. Yeah. So. Wham, bam. Yeah. Thank you, man. Have you thought about going to Nevada, where it actually is legal? It's a good idea. I'm just Clark sick County. of traveling. But, I mean, it's, well, uh, how, how, it's across, yeah, I mean, it's not that far. You know, well, Vegas is well, Listen, no matter the, 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 the police get, yeah. Nevada may be legal when it comes to prostitution, but remember, we're dealing with, like, 13, 14 year old, right. 14, you know. Um, year old girls. It's not legal in any state to have 13-year-old girls right. doing, any, doing tricks. Actually, right, yeah. so. Granted. Because we work. can't afford it unless they're working. This we is can't. the fastest way to make the biggest, the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Right. I understand that. She wants to run low overhead. Have you been, have any of you been incarcerated? I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm at least the young people. Yes. I, I don't want to get caught. Well, if you're properly well, funded, you can probably buy your way out. If right? you're in it for to help girls, there must be some other way to help girls. They're in it for the money. Well, if you're in it for the money, Angel. you're probably yeah. gonna yeah. you're but probably I mean, gonna become victimized by the legal you know, system just like the other guy. It maybe as like a spa or something. Well, that's unique. It's very hard to hit a moving target. Right. So if you're constantly relocating. Well, then maybe chance. what you need is some vans and RVs. A van and an RV. It, well, we were thinking about a school bus. Yeah, that's another that's another possibility. So you could even set up a 501c3. Or just small even school. a trailer. Small school. Well, that's what she said, a group home. Okay. A group home or a small school, you could do something like that. How, how do you trust someone I, that I, is... I trust him because I would just stand right up in a court of law and say, I never said that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but as soon as you leave, I'm going to go over and talk to the both of them and threaten them with their lives because I can kill people. Yeah. And I have a problem with that. <laughs> okay. okay. And I know exactly, I, I do know. And I want you to know that, that um, by the time I'm finished with him, he will think this never happened. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it, like, like it, is it through yeah. your people or like people you know can, can it's do that? Well, me. I, I'm the one that, that, that did my husband. Yeah. With a political agenda. And, and a financial agenda. Like this. And a financial agenda. Yes.
Oh, wow, that goes hand in hand. <laughs> well, you know, a, a diamond in the rough comes by every once in a while. That's good. And, uh, and you guys definitely shine. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember. And it's really, really true. You know, if you love something, set it free. That's the song, if you love something. And if it was, and if, and if, if it comes back, then it was, it was yours all along. But if it doesn't, then it never was. The way she had me at the tip of her tongue was ridiculous. Oh, she took my breath. She moved in ways that left her imagination feel a sick and best. Oh, this chick was the dick, 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 dick. You can mold this into anything you want, into the level of decency or indecency.